Humanism looks more at the development of human personality, that is how humans build themselves for positive things. This theory is eclectic and any theory can be used as long as the goal of humanizing humans can be achieved. Learning theories according to experts. The experts number one is Cobb. Cobb divides the stage of learning into four stages, namely concrete experience stage, active and reflective experience, conceptualization, and active experimentation. The first is concrete experience stage. Is a student is only able to just experience an event. He does not yet have an awareness of the nature of the event. The next is active and reflective experience. Starting begin to be able to make observation of an event and begin to try to think about and understand it. Next, conceptualization. Sudden begin to learn abstraction or theories about something they have observed. And the last is active experimentation. Students are able to apply a general rule to a new situation. So, expert number two is Honey and Mumford. Classify students into four types, namely, one is activist student type. They easily involve themselves in new experience. They tend to be open-minded and easy to dialogue with. The next is reflector student type. They tend to be very careful in taking steps. They prefer to carefully weigh the good and bad of decision. Next is theoretical student type. Usually very critical, like to analyze and do not like opinions or judgment that are subjective in nature. For them, rational thinking is very important. And the last is pragmatic student type. According to them, theory is very important, but if it is not practiced, it will not work. Expert number three is Bloom and Cartwell. Bloom and Cartwell shows that what starter master includes treating, namely cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. The one is cognitive. Cognitive has six levels, that is knowledge, understanding, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Knowledge includes remembering and memorizing. And understanding is interpreting. Application is using a concept to solve a problem. Analysis is a breaking down a concept. Synthesis is combining parts of a concept into a whole concept. And evaluation is comparing values, ideas, methods, and so on. The second is affective. Affective has a five levels, that is recognition, responding, appreciation, organizing, and experience. Recognition is willing to accept, aware of something. Responding is actively participating. Appreciation is accepting values, loyal to certain values. Organizing is connecting the values that are believed. And experience is making values part of a lifestyle. And the last is psychomotor. Psychomotor has five levels, that is imitation, usage, accuracy, assembling, and naturalization. Imitation like imitating motion, usage is using the concept of doing motion, accuracy is performing the movement correctly, assembling is performing several movements at once correctly, and naturalization is doing movements naturally. The expert number four is Habermas. Habermas categorizes learning types into three parts. That is technical learning, practical learning, and emancipatory learning. In technical learning, students learn how to interact with their natural surroundings. 
In practical learning, the more important stage is the interaction between himself and the people around him. In emancipatory learning, students try to achieve the best possible understanding, awareness of the cultural changes in an environment. Abraham Maslow Maslow theory is based of the assumption that within the individual there are two things, namely one, a positive effort to grow, and two, the power to reset or reset the development. Maslow posited the individual's behalf in an attempt to satisfy needs of a hierarchic nature. Each person has various feeling of fear, such as fear to try and default, fear to take chance, fear of endangering what has already had an edge. Maslow divides human needs into seven hearts. When a person has fulfilled the first need, such as a psychological need, then he can want the needs that lie above him namely the need for security and comfort. Carism Rogers Rogers distinguishes two types of learning, namely 1. Cognitive and 2. Experiential Teacher links academic knowledge into use knowledge, such as studying math science with the aim of repairing cars. Experiential learning refers to meeting the needs and desires of students. Experiential learning quality includes personal student involvement, innovative evaluation by students themselves, and the effect that imprint on students. According to rigors, the most important thing in the learning process in the teachers need to pay attention to the following principles of education and learning. 1. Being human means having a natural power to learn. Students don't have to learn about many things. And 2. Meaningful learning in modern society means learning about process. There are three constructs that from the important basic of the theory, namely organisms, paranormal files, and the self. David Mills and Stanley Scarce Natural knowledge over the years has only been taxes and study cognitive that is as an accumulation of facts from theory. However, practice in science always involves an effective element which including the needs for knowledge. The as of impression, inspiration, and, imi- and imagination in creative and the force, knowledge, experience, and itch. The integrated approach is a science of humanities psychologists, especially gas therapy and education involving the integration of effective and cognitive elements in the learning process. The general goals of this approach is to develop student awareness of themselves and the world around them as well as increase awareness in dealing with the environment in various ways.